Hey, what's up everyone? This is Cray and welcome back to another Summoner's War video. So finally, we have a siege battle to hit. I think for the next couple of weeks, I'll be a little bit benched here and there because of the new players. I think they are testing them out. I don't know why I need to get benched, but hey, it is what it is, you know? So we're up against Hanoi VN and Legend Wings. We are currently at rank 24, so I'm not too sure these two guilds are... But yeah, we'll just check out the defenses here. They do have quite a lot of Loras with a Tianlang on the Tower 11. For the Tower 10, in terms of their LD units, not bad, alright? So on the side of Legend Wings, they are running the Miang Cichlid plus one over there. This one, a full tower of the Paladin. Ophelias are always strong, and last but not least, their tower 10, a full LD tower. We'll be able to start our first match of the day, and we're gonna be using our Clara, Asher, and Beecha over here just for fun, because I believe in my rune sets, <laughs> we should be able to sustain. So the Cichlid should be on Swift, because my Asher is pretty fast. Uh, I don't like that reset though. Yeah, we are taking quite a lot of damage. We need to stun here, get some double stun by the Mian clan, so that's not good. Come on. Yeah, only two dots, bro. Oh, that's not enough. Oh, this is getting scary. We have to armor break this cichlid. I think we work onto her first, alright? Because I do not want to deal with the shield. It's pretty annoying. Our Vitra also dying. Gotta heal up. Alright, at least we brought down one unit. Stun. Nice. Ah, does have the dance of Mirage again, bro. Hey, can you stop proccing? Yeah, I do not want to touch the Liu Mei yet because the counter quite scary. <laughs> so we are doing quite a lot of damage. Bro, all the violent procs, man, she got the heal again. Hey, you know what? Should we, should we just kill off this Liu Mei first? Okay, never mind. <laughs> Not a wise choice over there. We got counter stun up. Bro, the despair rate's so strong. Come on, man. What? Are we gonna lose 2v3? Come on, just die, just die, please. Okay, good. <laughs> Yeah, I believe in my rune quality, although this team is obviously not the best to deal against this kind of defense, but hey, I'm too lazy to use the generic lineups, you know. So we'll just have a little bit of fun in this siege. At the end of the day, I'm not sure whether we'll be able to use all our swords. Next up, we'll be facing this Ophelia, Narsha, and the Manon. So I think it kind of makes sense we run double win with the Diaz. Although there's a slight chance or risk if, let's say, the Ophelia or Manon stuns my Dominic, the Nasha might aim him. So we do have it on a pretty tanky build. We got no choice but to kill off the Ophelia first, you know, because of the threat state. We do not have any strips on our team, so we got to brute force our way through. Okay, at least we are seeing good progress onto that unit. On the bright side, they do not have any heals as well. So every chip damage counts. 9k on the last hit. That is great. Ophelia is dead. Whoa! Wait! <laughs> oh my god, my Dominic actually survived that. Nice. Yes, yes, hit the Diaz back. Okay. Oh, that was close. Alright. We gotta heal up. And I think... Who should we work on? Yeah, I think we kill off the man on first, right? Because we got Diaz to soak up the Narsha's damage all day, all night long. Every hit, the last hit from Dominic so hard. Okay, man on already down to the last hit. But damn, that was actually pretty close earlier. If the Narsha won Violent Proc, I think if we lose our Dominic, definitely we lose the match as well. Although it could be close... Because they do not have any heal, so every chip damage from the Riley and Diaz counts, essentially. But I don't know whether we'll be able to sustain all the way through to the end. But thankfully that did not happen, and we are able to bring down this Narsha. 
Now we are seeing a Dominic Juno and a Nana. This one is just a free win for the Pinion Bellagio Alia. I don't think anything is gonna be killing off our lineup because we have everything very tanky. Dominic. Yeah, I don't think his damage is enough to bring down my Alia unless he violent procs like five times in a row. Then we could be in a little bit of a trouble, but I do not see that happening. The Dominic already almost dying here. So we just need to deal against the two lives basically from the Nana. Every time we got a fall skill, we heal up. And let's just try to finish off this Dominic. Perfect. First life down, we need to kill him off again. <laughs> the Juno's accuracy also very low. Okay, so now we can just go for the Sanctuary since the Juno already did the strip. Press the auto button. Easy clap. Nah, actually joking, we will just kill off the Juno first, then we press auto. Alright, from here on out, we are definitely safe. We'll be using the double snipey snipe combo over here, the Claire Covenant and the Praline aka Madeline Koki. This is the collab skin. And we are just gonna be sniping off the Ophelia and that light macaroon guard first, leaving the Tiomars last. I think it makes sense. We should have enough firepower to deal against this. So everything needs to be speed tuned as well. Make sure to tune your units to your speed attack buffer. So we can just go for the headshot here. 67k damage. <laughs> oh! I don't like the additional turn though. Can we stun? Okay, good. Come on. Tiomars, don't proc. Don't proc, please. Oh, that was close. Alright, we got this one. I want to play the Dark CV Vitra and Asher over here for fun. So this is my second set of them. We do have one Vitra on Violin and one on Despair. So hopefully we can get some good Despair stuns over here for us. Come on. Nothing? Bro. Stun? Useless man. <laughs> Hey, why every time opponent on Despair, they always stun? Mine doesn't do shit, man. Come on. Oh my god. I cannot lose my V-Chart. Thank you. Finally one counter stun. So the damage not good enough, but I think we are able to kill off this V-Chart here. Yep, Dark Siri always hitting really hard. And I guess we just try to work on to the Cichlid, right? So just gonna poke damage all the way onto her. Nice counter stun again. We get the heal up rolling. Bling strike. This damage is so good. Although it's not much, you know, it's like few K per hit. But especially as a bruiser tanker-ish unit. With good strips as well. I, I think it's fair in terms of the damage output coming up from her. So yep, this is definitely gonna kill off this Miang. Man, this siege we can only use 7 swords, so we only got 2 more hits left, we'll make it count, try to get 7 wins in a row at least, because we are capping for the guild. Another boring-ish one. <laughs> so we are gonna use the Jean, Leo, and Dina over here against the Double Beast Riders. Clara, I do not like the double stuns though. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Can we stun? Wow, hey, this Clara hits so hard. Oh shit. We cannot lose Leo. <laughs> nice stun. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put up the invincibility buff here so that we can use the torrent at least with the ignore defense. Mm. Yeah, but I do not want know what to do, eh? Another stun onto my Leo. Hmm. Okay, nice stun onto the Sienna. Can we stun this Savannah as well? Come on. Damn it, didn't get it. Please kill. Okay, at least 2v2 now. No stun again. Man. Control, control. Didn't get it onto the Clara, bro. Oh, I do not like this. Uh, We'll just risk it. 
he did not crit. <laughs> but, <the laughs> but that was my bad as well. I should have cleansed my Leo, but I didn't expect the violent proc. So I should take that into account. Uh, that was my bad. Uh, we might still lose towards this Clara though. Resistance! Oh shit! 7k, not enough, bro! Oh, this Clara is so strong! For our last one, we'll be just trolling a little bit. We'll run our full LD lineup, alright? The Neftis, Gianna, and the Chitian dashing. So, with this one, I am a little bit too lazy to change my Gianna runes. I know the double Nemesis will, will not cut in because we have very high HP, but. Yet again, I should have just used the wall arena runes. Yeah, damn it. The Demesis did not work. <laughs> okay, never mind. I think we are still in a pretty good spot because our Janna cuts in between here. We get the stun onto the Kakano, but no point since he violent procs out of it. Now he's under the hidden aim post, which I do not like. So we tried to kill off the Tilmars first, I think. That's the main priority. So Endia buff is popped. We put a bomb onto your face. Okay. So that secures the kill onto Kakano later on as well. Tilmars is dead. Laura dies as well. This one is locked in. Okay. That is good news. So at the end of the day for this one, we did get 7 out of 7. The siege battle has finally ended and we got 344 crystals followed by 985 guild points. We'll head over to check out the map layer at the end of that fight. Pretty much a sweep in this one mainly because the other two guilds were fighting against each other. Like I said, everything kinda kept at 7 wins so... Yeah, not the one that I wanted to post but hey... If not, I do not have any Siege videos for y'all for the next week or so, alright? So let's just open up this rubbish box here. As usual, we'll just probably sell all these runes. Yeah, that rune is pretty pointless. Okay, so all we got is some manas, 50 crystals, 3 fire scrolls, and that's about it for this one. If you do enjoy this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And also, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Helps out the channel a ton. Take care, stay safe, my friends. I'll catch you guys in the next. Peace out.